ha, 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 ha. It don't happen. Fulani is now in trouble. The Fulani government is now in trouble. How can set up people to go over government and allow innocent Christians to be killed in Nigeria by their so-called Fulani handmen? We are not even talking about Boko Haram anymore. Now, a lot of people dying in Nigeria in the hands of the Fulani headers and the so-called Fulani government have refused to do something about it. If it was Christians killing Fulanis like that, by now, they would have done something drastic. It's unfortunate. So I wonder why they are crying now. If that is what Nandikali is doing, and they should let it to be done. Because what they, he's saying is what they are doing. There's nothing to be hidden there. Everybody has seen everything. Everything is clear. So what is this man talking about? Guys, before I go straight for the news today, I will not hesitate to tell you that this is Blessed Biafra Network. And please press the bell icon so that you don't find time we have news for you. And also the red subscribe button is very important. Now let's go straight to the news at hand. <laughs> I know if you like for Jamaica. Well, let us not deviate from the news. The headline says Nigerian presidency raises alarm, says IPOB is destroying Nigeria internationally. Now the news in detail. This is from Gaba. This I think uh, Gaba Che is the, was the one saying it. The presidency wishes to draw the attention of all citizens and the international communities to the most misleading campaigns spearheaded by the so-called indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, using false allegations of persecution of Christians against Nigerian state. <laughs> A very cheap and wide investigation by an agency of the Nigerian government working with international partners has made us become aware that there are two interconnected campaigns being run concurrently by the IPOB in this regard. Both are using the cover of Christianity and calling for a U.S. special envoy to be appointed to stop the genocide of Christians in Nigeria. But the real purpose is to drive a wedge between the Nigerian government and its U.S. and U.K. European allies. IPOB leadership, of course, self-proclaimed as Jewish a position not shared by the generality, generality of the members for reason of convenience he claimed to have an interest in the welfare of Christians but this is a loss the case for independence the leader believe, believes is threatened by proving the government of Nigeria is autocratic engage in a silent slaughter of their own citizens along religion and ethnic lines and that therefore the only viable option for the unique religion and ethnic minority is a sovereign Piafra separate from Nigeria. Nigerians and the international communities are advised to be aware of this divisive campaign which available evidence shows is being funded with a monthly spending of 85,000 US dollars since October 2019 with no record of the source of this largest largest the campaign consists of producing articles in the name of the Ale Christian NGOs leader of campaign group Created at the time this PR contract with a U.S. lobbying firm was signed, and letters to and from members of Congress to the White House. Unfortunately, some members of Congress have clearly been persuaded there is indeed a Christian persecution 
on the way in Nigeria and do so within the campaign and they are known to be taking up the case directly with the White House to appoint the special envoy. The American charity secured a meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Pompeo and has made presentation to the U.S.A. Commission on International Religion Freedom. There is also a UK and European angle of the campaign, which is more opaque than its US sister campaign. Given there is less legal requirement for public feelings, but what is known of this? Sorry, guys. Legal requirement for public filings, but what is known? of this at the moment is that their budget is sufficient to hire four PR firms in the UK, Belgium, France and the US. The latter addition to the above. They have funded an NGO charity and they linked where based campaign name Stop the Silence Lotter, which is well designed and complete with video evidence completely concocted. Members of alleged Christian NGO has had multiple OPED articles in conservative news website prom promulgating their message of a Christian genocide. Some of those articles have also been used as evidence in the Sisters USA campaign. Two of those conservative news website we are co-funded by the owner of the UK PR firm they have hired to generate their publicity as well as an OPED article in the name of British MP who may have been convinced by their campaign under false pretenses. They have secured additional coverage in France, EU and Germany. They secure MP debate on the Christian genocide, the House of Commons, in which staff members of the UK PR were referenced as the private secretary to the leader of the UK-based charity. It is clear from all the above that the IPOPs extraordinarily and the dubiously well-funded campaign in the USA and UK Europe is misusing misusing the issues of the welfare of Christians purely to further their own political end and it seeks to damage the damage interreligion dialogue in Nigeria as well as to damage the international reputation of Nigeria. Nigeria and the international community are hereby advised to ignore this campaign as they have disguided similar past campaign originated by the group which has been designated as a terrorist organization by the Nigerian state. International group and societies are welcome to send representatives to Nigeria and give a lie to the false claim made by those terrorist groups who are duping them of their money and involving them in conduct and activities disguised to destroy the harmonious relationship existing between their home countries and Nigeria. Gaba Shihu, Senior Special Assistant to the President Media Publicity, June 7, 2020. <laughs> Guys, that's the news. I'm laughing in Jamaica. Everything that this man has said here is all false. First of all, the whole world knows that none the color and hip hop are not terrorist groups. Secondly, whatever it is, if none the color told the international community that Christians have been killing in Nigeria by the so called Fulani headmen, headers, there's nothing like that there. Everything is true. Too. So I don't know what Gabashi is talking about. Even the small boy in the international was in the world knows that Christians are dying every day by day in Nigeria in the hand of the Fulani hand headers. And the, the Nigerian government, which happened to be Fulani government, have not done anything about it. They created Boko Haram. We are suffering that one. Now they brought Fulani headers. 
those ones, in fact, they are the real killers now. We, won't, we no longer talk about Boko Haram because Boko Haram is coming down little by little. But the Fulani headers are the real criminals. They are the killers. They are criminals. They kill the men. They do every sort of thing to Christians. The world power knows about this. The, the international community knows about this. It's not something hidden. So why would Gabashi say that Nandekalo is lying? Or Nandekalo was lying? This is the fact. It's everywhere on the internet. Even people and people like us have seen it with our own eyes. In. Even in that Nigeria. So what are we talking about here? But she, if we say somebody who is lying, yeah, Gabashew is the one lying. And in fact, Gabashew is among the people that created Flani Headman. And there is nothing good that has come out from Flani Headman. All they do is killing innocent people. And the government is not doing anything about it. Or are we going to say about the Boko Haram people that see the, the capture, they say they have reformed, they now bring them back to the community, putting them in police and soldier. What's that for? Is the, is the international community not, are they not seeing it? These things are very bad, things that God's government is doing. And we cannot live with such government. A government that cannot condemn people because they feel they are the ones in the, in, in, in the head. Because of that, they are a, a monopoly of doing anything. They have the monopoly of doing anything, and nobody will ask them question. And uh, somebody is uh, doing campaign about it in the international com community. We are saying that he's lying. There's no lies here. Everything is the fact. So I think the international community and the world power should discard what this man Gabashi is talking about. They should just. Disregarded, disregarded, disregarded him because what he's saying is false. Nande Kalo, whatever I think Nande Kalo said is the fact. And uh, it's not only coming from Nande Kalo, a lot of people know about it. Even in Nigeria, even in diaspora, knows that the government we have today in Nigeria are bad government. And they have contributed nothing in the better life of Nigerians. They have contributed nothing. Rather, what they gave us in Nigeria is death. No hospital, no road. So, what is it that this government has contributed? Or what is it that all the whole government in Nigeria, all this war, contributed to Nigeria, if not failure, no light? So, what are we talking about here? So, the Nigerian international community to disregard this man called Gabashehu. It's always like this. Sometimes you come out, you support the Fulani hand men, uh, even though when they kill somebody, you support them. What they call it? They call it farmers and headers clash. Somebody is killing somebody in his own land. Have you ever heard that the farmers kill the flani headers? Rather, we always see the headers kill the farmers in their own land, and you call it clash. You don't see those people as killers. You don't see them as terrorists. Rather, an innocent group going around with the flag, you come here and you tell the international community that they are terrorists. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, gentlemen and ladies, I do not have much to say about this. The world knows what is happening. So, that's nothing to discuss much. I just want to let this man know that uh, everything he says here is just rubbish. Thank you so much. May God bless you all. Cheers. Share this news. Very important.